Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? So the topic for the past couple of weeks, I don't know if you've noticed, but has been how to bring your immune system up, how to be stronger from the inside out. There's a lot of us that think about strength these days, just as physical muscles, having a stronger jawline, maybe a bigger beard, you know? We attribute it to being very physically fit. That's what being strong means. That could not be further away from the truth. I think that being strong comes from within. And today we're talking about yet another vitamin. This is vitamin D. So what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is a fat soluble nutrient that is required to live. It's one of the 24 essential micronutrients that all human beings need in order to live. It is involved in several processes throughout the body. It is super important in many, many, many ways. So the next question might be, what does it do? supports cognition, supports the lowering of your blood pressure. It has been shown in many research studies to potentially lower cancer, helps with mineral absorption, helps with hormone regulation, helps your immune system, promotes healthy bones, helps with mood disorders. If you're somebody that has a lot of mood swings and stuff like that, helps with dental help. I mean, it's literally involved in just about everything that your body does, guys. It is quite vital to our existence in this planet. So, okay, cool. So vitamin D, very important, we need it. How does it work? So it's a little bit of a process, but the easiest way to kind of explain it, cause it can get a little bit complicated. The way we get it is mostly through sunlight. That's how we acquire vitamin D or how we acquire it and then we turn it into vitamin D. So let me explain. Sun hits our skin. Once that sun hits our skin, it starts to form a reaction with the UV that hit our skin. It's not the light itself, it's the ultraviolet light when it hits our skin, it starts to communicate with our enzymes and it starts creating this process where the precursor to vitamin D kind of starts. And then once that is complete, then we have vitamin D. UV, ultraviolet light hits our skin, a bunch of reactions start happening in your skin and then once that happens then it gets converted to vitamin d and that is how we acquire vitamin d there are some foods that have vitamin d but the foods that are out there are you it just can't compare to the amount that you get from um, the exposure of ultraviolet light that you get from just being out in the sun like that's the essential part so as mentioned earlier there's a lot of things that vitamin d does for us but here are some of the things that when we don't have vitamin d or in the absence of vitamin d that we can go ahead and create for ourselves for doing not doing things such as just being out in the sun a little bit more or consuming enough vitamin d if you're supplementing with it so a lot of people that don't have sufficient vitamin D tend to have fatigue. This is a very, very common thing since it's involved in so many enzymatic processes throughout the body. You get pale skin. Obviously you get a tan with the ultraviolet light. So you have paler skin for sure. Some people experience muscle loss and a, a lot of loss of strength. And this is very true. I feel it whenever I'm not out in the sun consistently or when I'm not out running because I tend to run without a shirt nowadays so I can absorb as much vitamin D as I can. Being a Latino, our people originated a little bit more throughout the closer to the equator where there's a lot more sun. And here in San Diego, I li I'm, I'm fortunate to live in San Diego where we get plenty of sun year round, but I have to make a conscious effort to go outside and absorb that. So I require a little bit more vitamin D. I'm super conscious of it. And if I'm not getting that extra vitamin D by going out to run or exercising outside or just being a little bit more outside, I definitely feel it. People tend to get in a bad mood. That also happens to me. I, I tend to get in a bad mood very easily when I'm not out in the sun and I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It definitely supports a healthier mood. Weak and brittle bones. So vitamin D helps absorb calcium. So a lot of people that are not as much out on the sun have a harder time absorbing calcium, which can potentially lead to brittle bones. And that's definitely not good for anybody. Also things such as loss of appetite, hair loss, poor sleep. People that are, tend to be overweight tend to actually be deficient in vitamin D. And it is actually quite interesting, but it's very, very complicated. So for time saving purposes, we won't mention that, but know that definitely if you're a person that is struggling with weight management, being out in the sun definitely helps. Of course, consult your doctor. I'm not a physician or anything like that. Consult your doctor as to how much time you should spend out in the sun. Last but not least, you start to get a weak immune system. Go figure. It, it is no wonder why this might be something that could directly alter your immune system. It, it is a very important part of your overall bodily complex. So Z, how much time do we need or how much UV or how much 
vitamin D do we need? Well, I can't recommend anything, but I'm going through some of the guidelines that I found on examine.com, general consensus throughout papers. The RDA seems to be 400 to 800 IUs, which is the measurement unit in which vitamin D is measured in. That's how they usually refer to vitamin D if you're supplementing with it. Also, some other places recommend as much as 4,000 IUs, and this is what I've been finding lately in a lot of more recent papers that because depression is directly correlated to vitamin D and being just being out in the sun, um, we are finding that more and more people are super deficient on vitamin D, especially right now with the Rona going around. Um, there's a lot of people that are spending way more time inside, and so they tend to be very vitamin deficient, especially vitamin D. Experts are starting to kind of come to a little bit of a consensus, and that's saying that 2,000 to 4,000 IUs is actually better than the RDA. Again, this is pretty scattered information but the consensus seems to be kind of starting to point that way and if you're kind of like trying to figure it out well uh like so what is the guideline personally what i found is anywhere from 20 to 80 i use per kilogram seems to be apparently the sweet spot so the bigger you are in weight you do have to um, be a little bit more out in the sun if you're somebody that's a little bit more overweight tends to be stored in your fat so um, it doesn't get used, even though you might be consuming enough vitamin D for, and getting it from the sun, you might not be using it because again, once it gets, it gets sequestered in your fat and until you lose that fat, you can use um, those nutrients, that vitamin D. So that's why I tend to take a little bit more. I have a little bit more weight than the, um, I guess you could say average folk around here or the average person my size. So I tend to take a little bit more. And since I'm out in the sun a little bit more, I believe it does help me out and my mood is a lot more controlled and obviously along with a couple of other things, it definitely helps out. Hey Beefy, what are you doing? This guy's going crazy over here. So if you're somebody that's planning to take it through food intake, what are some of the foods that can help out with vitamin D intake? So some of the foods, once again, are oily fish. So sardines, salmon, herring, mackerel, those kinds of fish are, are some of the highest ones in vitamin D. It's nothing comparable to just being out for 10 minutes out in the sun in a, a little bit of a sunny day. Like that's just gonna blow anything over the top that, that, that you can eat. Oily fish is one of those things. Red meat has a couple of IUs of that vitamin D. Liver, egg yolks, mushrooms, and fortified whole milk. So a lot of these foods, as you may find like on around the supermarket, you'll see that they'll say vitamin D3 fortified with vitamin D. That means that the vitamin D was added and that was one of the reasons because of the deficiency that people have of vitamin D just in general, at least in the US, you know? So that's why you will find it in a lot of products. You will find it that they put it in milk, they put it in bread, and they put it in a couple of other uh, foods. But the biggest thing for vitamin D, in my opinion, is that it is free. It's one of those things that it just really is free. So um, making a conscious effort to be out in the sun is, I think, the best option. And if you have a busy life, let's say you work from home, you work in front of a desk all day and you just can't afford to have that prime time sunlight somewhere around 10 o'clock to 11 or even 12 o'clock or even later in the day, you can definitely supplement with vitamin D. I take uh, from Thor Nutrition, I go ahead and take their vitamin D supplement, which has K2. And it's really cool because it helps you absorb that vitamin D a lot better. So they have like a little combo with, with a dropper and I really like that one. My girlfriend takes that, I take that. Vitamin D is one of those things that is very easy to get. There's multiple brands, just like anything else, guys. I, once again, I use Thorn supplementation. I've said it before and I keep on saying them, I'm not sponsored, but they just have such a high quality that I either use their stuff or another brand that I use is by Pure Encapsulations. Their vitamin D3 is also super awesome. They have very high quality standards. Yeah, those are my two go-tos, um, either Thorn Nutrition or Pure Encapsulations. You're buying something good, you're putting good stuff in your body, especially if you're spending the money, you know? Might as well spend a little bit more. Yeah, they're a little bit pricier, but you know that's going into the quality of the product, which I think nowadays is very easily, easily diluted in many, many supplements out there. So hopefully this video helps you understand vitamin D a little bit better, guys. This is definitely just skimming 
over the top. This is just a, a quick little overview of what vitamin D is, what it helps with, where to get it, how much of it to get it. But this is a very, very complicated topic. Building muscle, being focused, helping with your immune system, being just healthy overall. Vitamin D is very important in just about everything that our body does. So with that said, guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Sage Experience. You guys know all that good YouTube stuff. Definitely subscribe. Leave a comment down there. Let me know if you guys do take a vitamin D supplement. What brand do you guys take? Do you guys have something that you trust, that you dearly, dearly trust, and that you would gladly recommend to the rest of, of the viewers of this channel? If so, please leave it down there in the comment section. But enough of me, guys. Zate, out. Peace.